To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Indoors growing up around New York, what makes this Knicks franchise so special? Well, I think certainly the energy of the city, the passion for the game of basketball. Playing Two seconds left in the first quarter. Here is Daniels. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And then shoots it to life. There it kicks to Brunson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Valanciunas. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. This is their first look at this year's New York score. And just couldn't make the most of their meetings last year. Ended up splitting the season. is with the ball. And Rose picks him up defensively. Valanciunas passes to Alvarado. To the inside. Oh, the lob to Valanciunas. Throws shots to fall in the third quarter so far. Pass to Alvarado. And he lobs it up top. And Nance with the slam. Sees his man. Threads the pass in some. The alley oop saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop. And bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And then shoots it in. Well, that's the nose for the basketball. Larry Nance, my goodness, what hops on that young guy. Green. Pass to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, Dunking the ball is elementary. Mike Nance, the consummate role player, does everything that's asked of him. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. And then shoots it in. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Caruso with the bucket. Caruso. Uh, leaving in for Mitchell Robinson. Toppin comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Rose in for Jalen Brunson. Rose passes to Hartenstein. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. <laughs> and we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, guys, that is lockdown defense at its final. Replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. And DeRozan kicks to Caruso. Levine for three. Gets in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for four. Here's Robinson. And they finally get it to go. A full night's work on the boards in one trip down the floor. Mitchell Robinson, one of those guys who you could be blocking out. Lobbed up there for Robinson. In transition, here come the Bulls. Jordan with the ball. Yeah, Jordan just glides up the court. It's kind of deceptive. Doesn't look like he's running as fast as he really is. Limitless vertical for MJ. Jordan with the steal. Fast break, here comes Chicago it up for Jordan, and Jordan throws it down. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive. is too skilled and too strong on these finishes with contact. It's Jordan on the wing. He's got 15. Trying to get open is Davis. Count it, and he's now 8 of 9 from the floor. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Create. Bagley, he's outstanding at fighting through. That's good from Bagley. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. The pretty dunk brings down the house. Pricey plays with no fear in there. He lobs it up. Got a piece of it. And they double up Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Nice there. Getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. Mobley's got 14 points now in the second half. 
great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And slam dunk by Jordan. Oh, my. What a move on the baseline. In the big team. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. Kicks it out to Jordan. In it goes for the eighth time. And so Jordan will bring it out for the Bulls. A shake. Oh, and the jam by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. No what? Well, Cohen's gone two for seven, struggling a bit. And Jordan slams it home. They have a good plan going right now, and they're starting to create separation. Well, the game plan might have been good, but you have to bring it together right now. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. McCollum's gone only three of ten here from the floor. Here's Jordan, and then slammed in by... With the crossover, and slam up by Jordan. With the reverse slam, oh, grabs the miss. And there's 138 left to play in the third quarter. Now here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. It's hauled in by Winnington. A minute six left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 46. Outstanding decision from Kuko, showing how versatile he is as a passer. other end. Wow. Pass to Jordan. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three. So look, they put this one to bed. Here's none. And he drives in. Basket counts. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Oh! That is Chicago making a switch here. Two coaches checked in, and Utah making a change here. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Jordan with the steal. Oh! oh! Completely away from them. No good from Beasley. Here's Chicago. They picked up 11 straight. Always going up for the alley-oop here, and it's Cooper.